All right, Virgo, beautiful. It's a beautiful pull this week. So from Halloween, you pulled winter, the sacredness of pausing, and then from the hidden realms, the cosmos, creativity, and vastness. I look at the two, and I think it's time to pause and look at the bigger picture. Now, when you're looking at winter, especially now that we're coming out of winter, it's saying that all the things that have not served you, you need to let die away now. And then with the cosmos, one of the things that it says is that you need to be mindful of your thoughts and actions. Both are influencing your outer world. But it's important for you to keep taking action towards your goals. Now, the other thing with the cosmos, too, is, you know, the creativity, right? There is no challenge with this card. And it's it's a beautiful card. But I'm looking at this thinking, all right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. Here is your overall for the week, the Six of Pentacles. The first thing that I got was assistance is coming. Which normally I don't look at that so much with the Six of Pentacles. When you're looking... When you look at this card, there is immediately, you know, the question of are you the one giving or are you the one receiving here? But normally I look at this as, you know, how much are you willing to put into something and what are you getting out of it? You know, equal give and take, right? But the first thing that I heard was assistance is coming. So for some of you, you may be, you know, getting a helping hand here looking at the Six of Pentacles. Now in the past... Wow, man, the King of Pentacles. Now, as far as you go, you know, it, this definitely could be about, you know, you giving a helping hand to somebody else, but I don't know. I, I don't really see, and I'm not feeling it either. I don't really see the King of Pentacles as you. I mean, we can definitely be talking about, you know, your own success, but if we're talking about assistance coming, this is, you know, more about the question of whether or not somebody is being dependable in the past. I think that that King of Pentacles is going to be somebody other than you. You know, and you guys are not the only ones dealing with him, which is funny because, you know, usually it's the King of Wands I continuous, continuously see, but it's him this week. You know, but like I said, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that that's you. I think that that's somebody else. Oh, shit. All right. Now, the Ten of Swords in, you know, again, it like all hinges on what's happening in the environment for me. But with the Ten of Swords in the present moment, you're talking about a, a painful, difficult ending, you know, possibly having to do with a person, maybe because they weren't dependable, you know, but yet you're still dealing with them because they're coming back through here, you know, but with the Ten of Swords, immediately it's, it's time to get up, right? It's time to get up now and see the clarity that's coming, you know, but, you know, and that's why I feel like there's, you know, assistance coming, you know, possibly from, uh, no, it's not, it's not though. And that's my problem because I'm looking at that King of Pentacles. And I'm thinking, okay, so if you guys have been through something really painful that ended in a bad way, whether we're talking about relationship or business, you know, it looks like you have somebody coming through here that may be giving you assistance, but I, I'm hearing no, that that's not it. He is directly related to this and a situation being over. You know, this is something else. There you are. The, this, this I see more so as you. Now the Empress. The Empress in future conditions. I don't necessarily feel like this is going to have to do with an outside person, I, I feel like that's you. I feel like that King of Pentacles is an outside person, but I think that this is you. Now, with the Empress, you know, my thing with her is when she shows up, a lot of times, you know, I feel like there's a need for, you know, you to start enjoying the abundance that is around you. You know, are you giving assistance to yourself here with the Six of Pentacles becomes a question, but I'm still waiting to see what happens here. But with the Empress, you know, that to me, you know, besides feeling good, for a lot of you, it's just the need to enjoy, you know, what you have in your life right now. Because I've always said with her, she's about enjoying the physical senses, right? If you're surrounded with all this abundance, then yeah, it's time to start enjoying that, right? But I look at this and I think, you know, is this you bringing that to yourself? Are you helping yourself now, you know? But I still feel good about this, despite the fact that you have this in the present moment. But it leads to you feeling, you know, abundant. You know, I don't think that this is about an unhappy mama. 
not by any means. Your best path to follow, the Two of Cups. Oh boy. Why immediately, and I'm questioning it, I'm like, why am I feeling like they need to have a better relationship with themselves? You know, I don't necessarily feel like this has to do with you, you know, being in a partnership with anybody. Like, you know, that to me isn't the advice here. Now, it could definitely be that you need to start seeing eye to eye with a person who may not have been very dependable in the past. Like there needs to be, you know, an understanding but I still see you focused on you and helping yourself right now. You know, I'm not looking at this thinking that you need to make a relationship work. That's not it at all. But needing to get to at least a level of understanding, you know. And then I look at this and think, especially if somebody owes you something, you know, but I, I see this as you helping yourself. In your environment, the Six of Wands, you know, what it, oh, the, the, this person clearly is still paying attention to you, you know, and, and it's because of the way that you're handling, you know, a difficult ending with them, you know, because with the Six of Wands, that's suggesting that you've, you're victorious here. Even if things ended badly, it's not affecting you to the point where, like, you're devastated. You're, I'm fine. I'm moving on. You know, which is great, but I still see him lining down here, you know, still paying attention to you and how you're handling this, you know, and I don't so much feel like it's you showing off. I think it's genuine because of the way you end up here with the Empress. This isn't fake. This isn't like acting like everything's okay when it's not. It really is like it's fine. But apparently, you know, they're still, like, keeping an eye on you, is what I feel like. Your hopes and your fears, the Wheel of Fortune. So, for you, it's really about, first of all, not repeating the same cycles, but then moving into a place where things start to change in your favor. Which, absolutely, with the Empress being there. If you are doing what you need to to help yourself right now, out of a really painful, difficult ending, it would make sense that this is where your hopes and fears lie right now. But like I said, you end up here. Now, I do think that there needs to be an understanding with this person. It's not that you need to build a better relationship with them because you are more important right now. This this is done and over with. For you, it's like, I'm I'm good. But we can't repeat the same thing over and over again. You know, and again, it right? It, romantic or business here but it, it all looks it, it looks really good despite the fact that you're dealing with the ten of swords and then the outcome and you oh my god oh yeah the knight of swords seems to be you know the big thing and what's funny is that looking at it as the outcome i look at it as not so much as hasty action or you know hasty communication or being too harsh or direct or anything like that i look at it more so as conviction and courage you know and then you're connected with the empress it, it looks good to me it does it looks good but then also if we're talking about a painful ending with a situation where children are involved i do think that there's going to be you know for those of you who are dealing with that there's going to be some like communication here where it's like we need to see eye to eye because things need to be fair here right especially out of a difficult like separation if that's what you're dealing with but this person is still keeping their eye on you that's the thing now if communication does open up with the knight of swords yeah i mean you're not you know beating around the bush here you're being like very direct but, you know, are you being too critical? But then the other thing is, is I feel like conviction, you know, especially with the Empress being there. All right. Here, here's what I'm seeing out of this. You know, and again, right, I look at the clarifiers as past, present, and then future. So if we're looking at the moon and you're looking at it in connection to, you know, this King of Pentacles, whoever it is that you're looking at, whether it's another Earth sign or we're talking about somebody who is not very dependable, with the moon, there wasn't a whole lot of clarity at one point. You know, I look at this and I think, you know, not not being clear on how you feel, 
but then, you know, also seeing things in a distorted way, but it's directly related to this person. Now, this may be them being all confused and fucked up, but I think that they, they are responsible for doing this to you as well. Now, when you're looking at the Fool and the Ten of Swords, very simply, this is jumping headfirst into something that ended in a really bad way. It's like falling flat on your face. But then, you know, also it's you taking a new path for sure. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to do that again. Like, I'm okay. It's good. It's whatever is what I feel like saying. But then with the Queen of Wands coming out, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, especially with the Empress being there, you are in a good place where you feel good about who you are, right? With the Queen of Wands, like I've always said, self-image comes up with her when I see her. And then looking at the Empress and looking at this in your environment, I think you're good. I, I don't think that this person will continue to affect you. I think that you're done as far as leaping and not thinking first when it comes to dealing with them because you've already done that, you know, but you're good. Like you're really good, you know, but I, I still think that you need to be clear as far as, you know, what you expect to see still dealing with this person. I think that this is more so about needing them to understand you and understand that, you know, that's fine and all, but I'm good. Like, you're good. Even if things are ending in a really bad way. You know, live and learn, right? Like, having faith in somebody and taking a leap and then falling flat on your face because they're not being dependable or they're not being there for you or not giving their part, you know, it's like, okay, well, I learned from that time to move on, you know, and I do think that that six of pentacles is you helping yourself, you know, and I feel like something changes where there may be like this opportunity that comes through that makes you, you know, move into this space here. I love it. Like I'm looking at that Empress and the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Swords and I'm like, oh yeah, you're good. <laughs> you look really good. But like I said, that King of Pentacles to me does not feel like Virgo. I think that that's the person that you have dealt with and may still be dealing with here. Let, let's take a look at the Soul Trees and see what else comes up. And then Celebration. Yeah, I would say that for a lot of you, this is going to be a really good week. Where someone may have failed you before, you are taking care of you right now. You know, it is what it is. It's over and it's done with. You are moving on and you're doing it in a way where, you know, they may still be keeping their eye on you, but you are the one that has gotten victory over this. You're the one that's faring better than they are, is what I feel like looking at this. Now, you know, despite the fact that you may have taken a leap here and fallen flat on your face, coming out with the Queen of Wands, yeah, you're fine. I think it's one of those experiences that taught you to be a little bit more giving to yourself rather than to somebody who is going to fail you. But now, you know, passion, release, and celebration, right? There needs to be a release. A release as far as, you know, dealing again with people who are not dependable, but that being right in the middle is telling me that that passion and celebration is right there as soon as you release what may have happened, you know, but your passion, right? Like, where are your passions? Where does your passion lie? You know, but once you release, right, you get to have celebration. It's perfect. That since we're already looking at the end of a situation, when you're talking about spend quality time together, I think that, you know, if you are open to the the possibility here of having a connection with somebody, then, you know, it, it's important to get to know them, right? Like, I, but more so, I, I feel like needing to enjoy the connection that's there, you know? But I think that this only comes up, though, once that release happens, right? You know, now for those of you who are in a relationship and you're happy, it's just saying that, you know, there's this amazing connection in that, you know, you need to spend some quality time together, which is perfect either way. But I think I'm talking to the Virgos here that are just like, I'm moving on. I'm done dealing with people who I, I can't depend on, you know. 
and it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter that this person is still like watching what you're doing here but i still think that you're the one that's faring better than them you know but i do think that with this being your advice that this is a real possibility especially for those of you who are coming out of like a difficult separation or breakup all right virgo beautiful i i love this reading for you especially the very first poll on this so again you know winter and the cosmos definitely letting some things die away now but then looking at the bigger picture and opening up to bigger possibilities right and being more comfortable with your own place in the universe right now as far as the Six of Pentacles goes, I do think that this is about, you know, you helping yourself, absolutely, with the Empress coming out here, but then, you know, assistance. Assistance is coming. Something better is coming to you, and you have to be open to receiving that, right? Now, with the Two of Cups, this could definitely be about needing to be open to possibly a new connection or a better connection. But I do think that this is going to be the outside person. I don't think that the King of Pentacles is you. But I do think that this is somebody who may have failed you. And things may have ended in a bad way. But for some reason, they're still keeping your, their eye on you. And I say that because of the Six of Wands. But then I look at that and the Ten of Swords. And this is how you're handling the situation. Instead of staying lying on the ground, you're like, no, nope, it's not going to affect me that way. I'm up and I'm gone. You know, and then not only that, but then there's also that recognition that may be coming through, though, from somebody because of you ending a really bad situation. Now, you know, again, it, it looks like you get to this place where you're not going to repeat the cycle. I think that better opportunities are coming with the Wheel of Fortune. And absolutely, if, you know, you're looking at that as hopes and fears, it would be that you don't want the same thing to happen. But you know, that's the opportunity for better things. But then it's also, you know, like, I, I don't really point this out too much when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune. But yeah, this could definitely be about fate and destiny stepping in and making things better. And that may be where the assistance is coming from. Now, coming out, though, I mean, you are more about helping yourself right now. You're not interested in, you know, making a better connection with this person other than understanding where you're coming from, where they're coming from, but it's over with regardless, right? But then looking at the clear fires, you know, with the moon, I look at that as the other person doing that to you, you know, casting that kind of illusion on you, but it's because they're not seeing themselves in an accurate light. And I do think that with the fool and then looking at the ten of swords that, yeah, I, I think for a lot of you, it's going to be about a situation where you went head first trusting someone and they fail you. But looking at the queen of wands coming out, the knight of swords and the empress, you look good. You look really good. You know, I, I look at that and I think there's no need to like beat around the bush when it comes to look i'm done with this you know you have failed me why should i give you any attention that's what i feel like for some of you but again looking at the queen of wands it's like you repair your own self-image here and it looks good now as far as passion release and celebration right where are your passions you know what is your true passion once you release you get to celebrate. You get to celebrate the fact that now, you know, you get to follow your own passions and then you have the Queen of Wands coming out. Hell yeah. You know? And then I do think that with the Two of Cups being your advice, it's possible that you need to be open to possibly a connection where you get to spend some quality time with somebody that you actually have a really good connection with. Beautiful cards. Beautiful reading. I think that you are acting in the right way. I don't think that with the Queen of Wands and the Empress, it, is, it, it doesn't have anything to do with you being like, you know, wanting to have attention from somebody who, you know, is not looking to give it to you. Because you wouldn't be coming out with the Empress. I would have expected to see something like the Queen of Swords. This to me feels like you get to a place where you get to actually enjoy your life and you are helping yourself now. And because of that, you're getting attention and recognition. But again, it's because you're handling the situation in a really, really, really good way. 